guys, it's Amy here, and today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up. So these are the books I read in October. The first book was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. If you watched my birthday book haul, you would have seen that I got this from my grandparents. So many people had been recommending it to me for ages, and I knew it would probably be a book that I would enjoy. I do quite enjoy books written in this time and this kind of genre, so it was all pretty positive to begin with, and I did really enjoy it. Hopefully I'll be writing a review soon for you guys if you're interested. The second book I read this month is another book that I've been recommended so many times and I was just putting off and I just don't know, don't know why I didn't get around to reading it sooner. But it was The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky and I actually loved this book so much. Like, I think it will be going into my top favourite books at some point. I just, yeah, I can't explain how much I loved it. I read it and then a few days later I watched the film and I really enjoyed the film and I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of hit me here somewhere and there was something that I just felt really connected to in this book and I'm sure a lot of other people have as well as it is a very popular book. Definitely a 5 out of 5 stars for me. The third book I read this month was Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk or however you say his name. This was an interesting one. I read Fight Club a few months ago and really enjoyed it and I did really enjoy this book but it was a bit mad. Like, I read another one, you'll see the next book is another Chuck Palahniuk book, and yeah, it's just a bit odd, but I did enjoy it. It was just a very strange ending, and it was like such a normal story for quite a long while, and then suddenly some crazy stuff started happening, and I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Not as good as Fight Club, but definitely a good one. If you like the style of writing then I definitely recommend reading it. And book number four is Choke by Chuck Palahniuk. The main guy in the story goes to restaurants and pretends to choke on things so that people will then feel indebted to him because they've saved his life and then he gets money from them. Um, that's not really the main part of the story though. I thought it would have had more prominence soon as the book is called Choke but it kind of took a very very back seat. Um, in fact it wasn't really mentioned a great deal or as much as I would have expected it to be seen as that's what the book's called. It's a book you start reading and think you know where it's going and then suddenly everything just gets turned on its head and you don't really know what's going on until the end and then it's just a bit odd. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a Marmite book. Either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. It's definitely a strange read but I did really enjoy it and I think it's just because I do like Chuck Palahniuk's style of writing. The fifth book I read was A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and this is a Sherlock Holmes novel. The Sherlock Holmes stories have been something I've been meaning to read for a really long time. I have a massive bind up of all of them at home in the similar style to this one but it's just so massive and trying to carry that round is just not very practical. So I found these, it's a penguin edition and I just love them, they're really tiny and I don't usually go for smaller paperbacks but I actually think they're really cute in the set together and I've been buying them all recently. Plus I think the graphics is just really nice. It just fits in with the whole Sherlock vibes and yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story. I watched the Sherlock series on BBC when it was out with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman and obviously that's a modern take on these books so when I was reading them I was like oh like that's like how they've changed it slightly to make it more modern and I found that really really enjoyable. The next book I read this month was When Did You See Her Last by Lemony Snicket. This is from the All The Wrong Questions series. One thing I have to say about this book, which I am quite annoyed about, if any of you have ever read the Lemony Snicket books, the series of unfortunate events, or the first one in this series, you'll know that the format of the book is probably about that big. And for some reason, they've changed this format for the second in the series, so that it's like four centimetres taller than all of the other books in the series and the series before. I just don't understand it. When I ordered it on Amazon I thought I'd ordered the wrong book and I was really annoyed just because I thought I'd have to buy it again in the right size to fit in my shelf with the rest of them. But apparently not. They're not making one that's the same size as all the others. This is the size and they've changed it completely. Why would you do that? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit in with any of the other books on my shelf now. Apparently it's to give it more shelf presence, which it obviously will do now seeing as it doesn't fit in with any of the rest of my shelf. Slightly annoyed. Even more annoying is the fact that this book is really good and I really enjoyed it and the only thing that bugs me is the fact that it's four centimetres taller than the other books in the series. Grr. 
This new series by Lemony Snicket follows Lemony Snicket as a child and how he has, becomes kind of the detective that is then for following the Baudelaire children in the series of Unfortunate Events books. I find these brilliant books, they're really funny, and this one I liked even more than the first one in the series. If you're a series of Unfortunate Events fan and you weren't sure if you'd like these ones, I'm pretty positive you will and I think you should pick them up. Book number seven, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. This is another book I was given by my grandparents for my birthday and I really enjoyed it as well. All of the books I read this month I really enjoyed so this month has been very good for me. For the time that this book was written this is very futuristic and a new world where everything is different and I just find it really interesting reading books that were written such a long time ago about kind of future times which obviously aren't the same as that, what they are now and I find it really really cool. For anyone who's a fan of the Hunger Games or the Maze Runner series or just any young adult book that is kind of dystopian and you have an interest in reading a more adult version of those kind of books then I would really recommend this. This is kind of the same kind of thing, a perfect society where everything seems to be running smoothly and then something goes a little bit wrong and it's really interesting reading a book that was written quite a long time ago about a future that could be now but it obviously isn't because it's not like this at all but it's really interesting and I would recommend to anyone who wants to venture into a bit of vintage classic adult literature. And the eighth and final book that I read this month was A Sign of Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and this is the second, number two, in the Sherlock series that he wrote. Again, I really enjoyed this. I was comparing it all the time to the Sherlock series on TV with Benedict Cumberbatch and yeah, really, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to re-watch the Sherlock series to just like see all the comparisons again. I've never really read many mystery novels before and I really enjoyed this so I think I may need some recommendations. If you have any recommendations for mystery novels that are kind of good, not really scary, I'm not really a big fan of scary stuff, but if you have any recommendations then comment me down below. So those are all the books that I read in the month of October. If you've read any of them before or if you want to read any of them and you want to ask my opinion then please talk to me down below. I really love talking to you all and if you want to add me on Goodreads or follow me on Twitter then please go for it. I do love talking to you all and I know I'm not being particularly great at the moment because I'm at university but I promise I do read everything that everyone writes and I do try and reply to all of you if I can. But yeah, so I hope you're all having a brilliant day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! So a couple of weeks ago it was my 21st birthday and I received a few books so I thought I'd show you those today. It's not really a book haul but more of a showing of my gifts video. <laughs>